Hi everyone, this is Angga Rizky from Indonesia and welcome back to my video. In this video, we're going to learn how to create the design for the home screen and for the seat navigation with the Adobe XD. Okay, so in this case, I will use the iPhone SE as my design screen. So we're going to iPhone SE and click here. Okay, so this is our workspace right now. Now, I just want to double click here to change it to the home screen. So we will make two screen, which is home screen plus with the nav navigation side. Okay, but in this case, we need to finish the home screen first, and then we can move to the another screen. Cool. Here, I will create the simple design for the timeline, which is the news feed. Okay. So firstly, I will create the oval with the A shortcut and you will get like this and then I will remove the border and change the fill color maybe I will use the uh, blue color and don't forget to make it group this is for the picture and make it group again this is for the item okay and after that inside of the item I will create the my name here Angariski and then we're going to change it to the 4a 4a and 4a and I want to make it more small maybe I can use 16 okay cool and then we setting this to 12 cool and I'm going to duplicate it and this is for the time which is uh, what time I post this uh, item maybe three minutes ago and I want to make it different color with the silver and of course we need to make it more small cool okay so this is I will make it group this is for the profile and this is for the picture and we want to make it to the center like this pretty nice and after that I want to setting the margin top is 16 and margin left is 16 like this and then inside of the item group we need to create the another screen like this and I want to setting the radius maybe 10 and then we setting this with minus 16 oh, sorry so the actually we need to minus it so or oh, it's we cannot use the operator arithmetic so I will use calculator minus 32 288 so I will like this and then I will remove the border and change the color the fill color we can use another color maybe blue like this and I want to make it to the center Okay, I want to make it to the center and I think it's already center. Now I just want to setting the margin top is 10. Cool. But I think the radius is so big so I just want to change it to the ton and then double click to change the radius maybe 4. Uh, yes, I think so. And the margin top is 12. Okay. And then I want to create the another color right here. So here I'm trying to create a vector like this and maybe just like this to make a different color and remove the border and the fill color maybe we can use the randomly but I want to make it max so I'm trying to make it masking okay so where is masking where are you masking oh cannot make a masking oh come on mm, wait I need to find how to mask this color Oh, I can't 
I cannot make it mass. Okay, so I think I will need to here and edit this not and make it. Yeah, you know, just make it like this and like this and the second like this and the third like this. Okay. But you can change this color to the another color. But firstly, I will suit to the blue and change it to the yellow. Lah. Okay, cool. The actually, it's only sample, so you can create your design like this. And I want duplicate again like this. But also, you can change this color to the another color. Maybe you can use the green color to make it just make it different because the color is really important. And I think this we can use the another color. Okay. And in the home screen, we can uh, export. We can save it. I mean, we can export to the uh, PNG so we need to export it to the desktop as the home screen and I will copy this home screen and I will go to this home screen now sheets and I want to make it small like this and make it to the center and move to the here like this so in this section we I want to make it the background is a blue but uh, purple okay and then i will select this to change the background blur and but make it object blur and the blur is like this okay so we, the user can focus on this section which is the left section for the main menu and i think i forget to add the menu here so I sort at the menu here. So we can create by text just menu like this. And the color is 4A, 4A, and 4A. And the font size is 16. And we can make it like here. Okay. So whenever I click the menu, it changes to be here. And I will duplicate this menu. And then change the color to the white. Okay. And then I need to setting. Uh, sorry, I need to duplicate this menu. Maybe this is for the account setting. And this is maybe for the preference. And we can also duplicate this. And I will make the another here, which is in the bottom one. Maybe in the bottom I can change to the scene out or scene off. And then in the account setting, we can change it to the another, maybe privacy. And here, connecting data. And this is for the another menu. Maybe you can use the profile. And this is invitation okay but in the menu i will make it bigger so it's not regular i think we need to use medium like this so we need to make it different so i think currently i'm in the timeline so i want to make like this so it's different and i want to make this opacity to be different like this pretty nice now we're going to prototype and whenever I click the menu, it's going to change to the another screen and I make dissolve and 6, okay? And let's try it. Okay, nice. Now we'll click this timeline to go back to the this screen because this is the screens. So I think we can use this again and yeah, just use the same animation. Click this and like this. Pretty nice. Well, congratulations, you already learned about the transition 
and how to create the shift navigation for the iOS and this is pretty nice well don't forget to like comment and share it to your friends see you in the next video goodbye